we have 90 minute classes, which are really great for science classes because you can do a lot. You can get labs done. They can also be exhausting and tiring because like basically all education research <laughs> says that students like tune out after like five minutes of whatever you're talking about. So I think I try really hard and I also know that like I can't sit still for that long. <laughs> so we tend to keep things constantly changing in my class and are constantly trying to like make thing make connections from one activity to the next. So students will start by reading something and then do group work with that. Or often they'll partner read something so they're already doing group work. And then I always start with like a warm up so that the students have structure when they come in. So they come in, they know that they're supposed to come in, get the red notebook, sit down. Which sometimes doesn't happen, but, but that's what the plan is. Everything is always on my blog. So they have like written directions and verbal directions. So they come in, they do their warm up, and then we normally jump right into an activity. I do very little lecture because it's boring for me. <laughs> um, and what I've tried to do this semester is do flip class videos. Like I'll be doing one later this week. So students will watch like a five minute video at home, which is like just the, the bare bones that they need to know for the next day. And then they come in. So it's basically like the terminology that we're going to use. And then we do stuff with it the next day. I try to teach things in a very inquiry based way. So we'll have like a problem and then we'll, try to work through it and then relate it to all these different scientific concepts and then always bring it back to like our big ideas and essential questions.